Dog Coat Genetics Modern dog breeds have a wide range of coat colors, patterns, textures and lengths. Knowledge of the genetics of canine coat coloring and patterning and coat texturing and length has improved a great deal in recent years. Dog coat color is governed by how genes are passed from dogs to their puppies and how those genes are expressed in each dog. Dogs have about 19,000 genes in their genome but only a handful affect the physical variations in their coats. And the usual rules apply, most genes come in pairs, one from the dog's mother and one from its father. Genes of interest have more than one version, or allele. Usually only one or a small number of alleles exist for each gene. So, at any one gene locus a dog will either be homozygous, that is, the gene is made of two identical alleles, one from its mother and one its father, or heterozygous, that is, the gene is made of two different alleles, again, one inherited from each parent. To understand why a dog's coat looks the way it does based on its genes requires an understanding of a handful of particular dog coat genes and their alleles. For example, if you wanted to find out how a black and white greyhound that seems to have wavy hair got its coat, you would want to look into the dominant black gene with its K and K alleles, the white spotting gene with its multiple alleles, and the R and R alleles of the curl gene. Genes associated with coat color. The various dog coat colors are from patterns of Currently eight genes in the canine genome are verified to determine coat color. Each of these has at least two known alleles. Together these genes account for the variation in coat color seen in dogs. Each gene has a unique, fixed location, known as a locus, within the dog genome. The loci associated with canine coat color are A. Agouti, locus. The alleles at the A locus are related to the production of agouti signaling protein, ASIP and determine whether an animal expresses an agouti appearance and, by controlling the distribution of pigment in individual hairs, what type of agouti. There are four known alleles that occur at the A locus. Most texts suggest that the dominance hierarchy for the A locus alleles appears to be as follows, A greater than A greater than A greater than A. However, research suggests the existence of pairwise dominance slash recessiveness relationships in different families and not the existence of a single hierarchy in one family. B. Brown, locus. The alleles at the B locus are related to the production of tyrosinase related protein 1, tyrp 1, and determine the degree to which an animal expresses tyrosinase, an enzyme related to the production of melanin, in its coat and skin, including the nose and paw pads. There are four known alleles that occur at the B locus. B is dominant to B. D. Dilute, locus. The alleles at the D locus, the melanophylline gene or MLPH, are related to the dilution of eumelanin and pheomelanin and determine the intensity of pigmentation. There are two known alleles. D is completely dominant to D. E. Extension, locus. The alleles at the E locus, the melanocortin receptor 1 gene or MC1R, determine whether an animal expresses a melanistic mask, as well as determining whether an animal can produce eumelanin in its coat. There are three known, plus two more theorized, alleles that occur at the E locus. The dominance hierarchy for the E locus alleles appears to be as follows, M greater than E G greater than E greater than A greater than E. Dot. H. Harlequin, locus. DNA studies have not yet isolated the gene at the H locus, but the traits associated with it have been mapped to chromosome 9. The H locus is a modifier locus, of the M locus, and the alleles at the H locus will determine if an animal expresses a harlequin versus merle pattern. There are two alleles that occur at the H locus. HH heterozygotes are harlequin and HH homozygotes are non-harlequin. Breeding data suggests that homozygous HH is embryonic lethal and that therefore all harlequins are HH. K, dominant black, locus. The alleles at the K locus, the beta defense in 103G Nordif 103, determine the coloring pattern of an animal's coat. There are three known alleles that occur at the K locus. The dominance hierarchy for the K locus alleles appears to be as follows, KB greater than KBR greater than KY. M. Merle, locus. The alleles at the M locus, the silver locus protein homolog gene or SILV, aka premelanosome protein gene or PMIL, determine whether an animal expresses a merle pattern to its coat. There are two alleles that occur at the M locus. M and M show a relationship of both codominance and no dominance. S. Spotting, locus. The alleles at the S locus, the microphthalmia associated transcription factor gene or MITF, 
determine the degree and distribution of white spotting on an animal's coat. There is disagreement as to the number of alleles that occur at the S locus, with researchers sometimes postulating a conservative two or, commonly, four alleles. The alleles postulated are S is incomplete dominant, towards co-dominant, to SP. DNA studies have not yet confirmed the existence of all four alleles, with some research suggesting the existence of at least two alleles, S and SP, and other research suggesting the possible existence of a third allele, C. In 2014, a study found that a simple repeat polymorphism in the MITFEM promoter is a key regulator of white spotting and that white color had been selected for by humans. Theoretical Genes for Color and Pattern there are at least six additional theoretical loci thought to be associated with coat color in dogs. DNA studies are yet to confirm the existence of these genes or alleles but their existence is theorized based on breeding data. C. Colored, locus. The alleles at the theoretical C locus are thought to determine the degree to which an animal expresses pheomelanin, a red-brown protein related to the production of melanin, in its coat and skin. Five alleles are theorized to occur at the C locus. The C locus in dogs is not well understood and the theorized alleles are based on those present in other species. True albinism has not been conclusively shown to exist in dogs. It is thought that an animal that is heterozygous for the C allele with any of the C alleles will express a result somewhere between the two alleles. White and Doberman pinchers and albino-like animals of Asian-slash-Tibetan companion breeds have a phenotype resembling a C locus dilution, but all tested animals have been CC. The gene responsible is recessive and not at the C locus. F. Flecking, locus. The alleles at the theoretical F locus are thought to determine whether an animal displays small, isolated regions of white and otherwise pigmented regions, not apparent on white animals. Two alleles are theorized to occur at the F locus. It is thought that F is dominant to F. G. Progressive graying, locus. The alleles at the theoretical G locus are thought to determine if progressive graying of the animal's coat will occur. Two alleles are theorized to occur at the G locus. It is thought that G is dominant to G. I. Intensity, locus. The alleles at the theoretical I locus are thought to affect pheomelanin expression. Two alleles are theorized to occur at the I locus. It is thought that I and I interact with semi-dominance, so that there are three distinct phenotypes. II heterozygotes are paler than II animals but darker than II animals. T. Ticking, locus. The alleles at the theoretical T locus are thought to determine whether an animal displays small, isolated regions of pigment in otherwise S spotted white regions. Two alleles are theorized to occur at the T locus. It is thought that T is dominant to T. Ticking may be caused by several genes rather than just one. Dot patterns of medium sized individual spots smaller individual spots, and tiny spots that completely cover all white areas leaving a roan-like or merle-like appearance, reserving the term large spots for the variation exclusive to the Dalmatian, can each occur separately or in any combination. U, your age arrow, locus. The alleles at the theoretical U locus are thought to limit the omelanin production on the cheeks and underside. Two alleles are theorized to occur at the U locus. It is thought that U is dominant to U but incomplete with homozygosity required for complete dilution to off-white and heterozygotes displaying a darker cream. The ur zero pattern is expressed in the DAN, pheomelanin, areas of any dog who is not EE. In EE dogs, the ur zero gene causes dilution of the entire dog to off-white or cream. Interactions of color and pattern genes Alleles at the agouti, A, extension, E, and black, K, loci determine color pattern, eumelanin versus pheomelanin. Alleles present at the brown, B, and dilution, D, loci determine melanin color. Alleles present at the intensity, I, your age U, graying, G, and albino, C-like, loci determine melanin shade, dot. Alleles present at the merle, M, and harlequin, H, loci cause patchy reduction of melanin to half, merle, zero, Harlequin, or both, double merle. Alleles present at the spotting, S, ticking, T, and flecking, F, loci determine white markings. Miscolors in dog breeds. Miscolors occur quite rarely in dog breeds, because genetic carriers of the recessive alleles causing fur colors that don't correspond to the breed standard are very rare in the gene pool of a breed and there is an extremely low probability that one carrier will be mated with another. In case two carriers have offspring, 
According to the law of segregation an average of 25% of the puppies are homozygous and express the off color in the phenotype, 50% become carriers and 25% are homozygous for the standard color. Usually off-colored individuals are excluded from breeding, but that doesn't stop the inheritance of the recessive allele from carriers mated with standard colored dogs to new carriers. In the breed box are large white markings in heterozygous carriers with genotype SC or SSW belong to the standard colors, therefore extreme white boxers are born regularly, some of them with health problems. The cream white color of the Shiba Inu is not caused by any spotting gene but by strong dilution of pheomelanin. Melanocytes are present in the whole skin and in the embryonic tissue for the auditory organs and eyes, therefore this color is not associated with any health issues. Recessive genes can be a remnant of the gene pool of the breeds from which the current breed was bred in the past. The occurrence of a dominant coat color gene not belonging to the standard colors is a suspicion for crossbreeding with another breed. For example the dilute gente in the suddenly appeared variety silver-colored Labrador Retriever might probably come from a Weimaraner. The same applies for Doberman pinchers suffering from blue dog syndrome. Genes associated with hair length, growth and texture. Every hair in the dog coat grows from a hair follicle, which has a three-phase cycle, as in most other mammals. These phases are. Most dogs have a double coat, each hair follicle containing one to two primary hairs and several secondary hairs. The primary hairs are longer, thicker and stiffer, and called guard hairs or outer coat. Each follicle also holds a variety of silky to wiry textured secondary hairs, undercoat, all of which are wavy, and smaller and softer than the primary hair. The ratio of primary to secondary hairs varies at least sixfold, and varies between dogs according to coat type, and on the same dog in accordance with seasonal and other hormonal influences. Puppies are born with a single coat, with more hair follicles per unit area, but each hair follicle contains only a single hair of fine, silky texture. Development of the adult coat begins around 3 months of age, and is completed around 12 months. Research indicates that the majority of variation in coat growth pattern, length and curl can be attributed to mutations in four genes, the R-spondin 2 gene or RSPO2, the fibroblast growth factor 5 gene or FGF5, the keratin 71 gene or KRT71 and the melanocordin 5 receptor gene, MC5R. The wild type coat in dogs is short double and straight, dot. L, length, locus. The alleles at the L locus, the fibroblast growth factor 5 gene or FGF5, determine the length of the animal's coat. There are two known alleles that occur at the L locus. L is dominant to L. A long coat is demonstrated when a dog has pair of recessive L alleles at this locus. The dominance of L greater than L is incomplete and LL dogs have a small but noticeable increase in length and finer texture than closely related LL individuals. However, between breeds there is significant overlap between the shortest LL and the longest LL phenotypes. In certain breeds, German Shepherd, Alaskan Malamute, Cardigan Welsh Corgi, the coat is often of medium length and many dogs of these breeds are also heterozygous at the L locus, LL. W, Wired, Locus. The alleles at the W locus, the r spondin 2 gene or RSPO2, determine the coarseness and the presence of facial furnishings, for example beard, mustache, eyebrows. There are two known alleles that occur at the W locus. W is dominant to W, but the dominance of W greater than W is incomplete. WW dogs have coarse hair, prominent furnishings and greatly reduced shedding. WW dogs have the harsh wire texture, but decreased furnishings and overall coat length and shedding similar to non-wire animals. Animals that are homozygous for long coat, i.e., LL, and possess at least one copy of W will have long, soft coats with furnishings, rather than wiry coats. R, curl, locus. The R, curl, locus the alleles at the R locus, the keratin 71 gene or KRT 71, determine whether an animal's coat is straight or curly. There are two known alleles that occur at the R locus. The relationship of R to R is one of no dominance. Heterozygotes, RR, have wavy hair that is easily distinguishable from either homozygote. Wavy hair is considered desirable in several breeds, but because it is heterozygous, these breeds do not breed true for coat type. Corded coats, like those of the Puli and Commodore are thought to be the result of continuously growing curly coats, long plus wire plus curly, with double coats 
Though the genetic code of corded dogs has not yet been studied, dog corded coats will form naturally, but can be messy and uneven if not groomed to cord while the puppy's coat is lengthening. Interaction of Length and Texture Genes These three genes responsible for the length and texture of an animal's coat interact to produce eight different, homozygous, phenotypes. Breed Exceptions to Coat Type Breeds in which coat type is not explained by FGF5, RSP02 and KRT71 genes. Genotypes of dogs of these three breeds are usually LL or LL, which does not match with their long-haired phenotype. The Yorkshire and Silky Terriers share common ancestry and likely share an unidentified gene responsible for their long hair. The Afghan Hound has a unique pattern coat that is long with short patches on the chest, face, back and tail. The Irish Water Spaniel may share the same pattern gene, although unlike the Afghan Hound, the IWS is otherwise genetically a long-haired, fixed for LL, breed. Other Related Genes Shedding Gene the alleles on the melanocordin-5 receptor gene, MC5R, determine whether an animal will have neotenous retention of a puppy-like coat type. The locus has not been assigned a common name or letter, but has been called the shedding gene or single coat gene. There are two known alleles that occur at this locus. The mutant allele is incomplete dominant. With respect to coat texture, shedding, follicle density and number of secondary hairs per follicle, Heterozygotes closely resemble animals homozygous for the mutant allele, with minor differences. With respect to coat length and the prominence of fringing and furnishings, the relationship between the two alleles is more complex and dependent on the alleles present at the L and W loci. Remaining influences of length, for example, setter versus cocker spaniel, texture, for example, setter versus mountain dog versus spitz or bearded collie versus old English sheepdog, and abundance of undercoat, for example, Labrador Retriever vs. Skishand, are likely polygenic. Hairlessness Gene Some breeds of dog do not grow hair on parts of their bodies and may be referred to as hairless. Examples of hairless dogs are the Solois Quaintly, Mexican Hairless Dog, the Peruvian Inca Orchid, Peruvian Hairless Dog, and the Chinese Crested. Dot research suggests that hairlessness is caused by a dominant allele of the fork head box transcription factor, FOXY3, gene, which is homozygous lethal. There are coated homozygous dogs in all hairless breeds, because this type of inheritance prevents the coat type from breeding true. The hairlessness gene permits hair growth on the head, legs and tail. Hair is sparse on the body, but present and typically enhanced by shaving, at least in the Chinese crested, whose coat type is shaggy, long plus wire. Teeth are affected as well, and hairless dogs have incomplete dentition. The American hairless terrier is unrelated to the other hairless breeds and displays a different hairlessness gene. Unlike the other hairless breeds, the AHT is born fully coated, and loses its hair within a few months. The AHT gene, serum slash glucocorticoid regulated kinase family member 3 gene, SGK3, is recessive and does not result in missing teeth. Because the breed is new and rare, outcrossing to the parent breed, the rat derriere, is permitted to increase genetic diversity. These crosses are fully coated and heterozygous for AHT hairlessness. Ridgeback some breeds, for example, Rhodesian Ridgeback, Thai Ridgeback, have an area of hair along the spine between the withers and hips that leans in the opposite direction, cranially, to the surrounding coat. The ridge is caused by a duplication of several genes, FGF3, FGF4, FGF19, Oreof1 and sometimes SNP, and ridge is dominant to non-ridged. Genetic Testing and Phenotype Prediction in recent years genetic testing for the alleles of some genes has become available. Software is also available to assist breeders in determining the likely outcome of matings. Characteristics linked to coat color The genes responsible for the determination of coat color also affect other melanin-dependent development, including skin color, eye color, eyesight, eye formation and hearing. In most cases, eye color is directly related to coat color but blue eyes in the Siberian Husky and related breeds, and copper eyes in some herding dogs are not known to be related to coat color. The development of coat color, skin color, iris color, pigmentation and back of eye and melanin containing cellular elements of the auditory system occur independently, as does development of each element on the left versus right side of the animal. This means that in semi-random genes, M. Merle, S. Spotting and T. Ticking, the expression of each element is independent. For example, skin spots on a piebald spotted dog will not match up with the spots in the dog's coat, 
and a merle dog with one blue eye can just as likely have better eyesight in its blue eye than in its brown eye. Loci for coat color, type and length. All known genes are on separate chromosomes, and therefore no gene linkage has yet been described among coat genes. However, they do share chromosomes with other major conformational genes, and in at least one case, breeding records have shown an indication of genes passed on together. There are size genes on all 39 chromosomes, 17 classified as major genes. Seven of those are identified as being of key importance and each results in 2x difference in body weight. IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, SMAD-2, mothers against decapentaplegic homolog 2, STC-2, staniocalcin-2, and GHR-1, growth hormone receptor 1 are dose-dependent with compact dwarfs versus leaner large dogs and heterozygotes of intermediate size and shape. IGF-1R, insulin-like growth factor 1 receptor, and HMGA2, high mobility group at hook 2, are incomplete dominant with delicate dwarfs versus compact large dogs and heterozygotes closer to the homozygous dwarfed phenotypes. GHR2, growth hormone receptor 2, is completely dominant, homozygous and heterozygous dwarfs equally small, larger dogs with a broader flatter skull and larger muzzle. It is believed that the pmol slash merle gene is linked to the HMGA2 size gene, meaning that alleles are most often inherited together, accounting for size differences in merle versus non-merle litter mates, such as in the Chihuahua, merles usually larger, and Shetland sheepdog, merles frequently smaller, and Shetland sheepdog, merles frequently smaller, and Shetland sheepdog, merles frequently smaller, and